Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Sway by Daniel Bradbury. We have a capo on our first fret. We're in standard tuning. I'm going to teach you the open chords as well as the bar chords. And it's the same chord progression throughout the entire song. The chorus, the verse, and the bridge. Okay, so we've got our D chord coming up here first. So you're going to have your index finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the B. And we're going to strum where we're going to pick the D, G, and the B all together. And right after that, we're going to pick just the B and the G. So that sounds like this. Next, we're going to go to our B minor position. This is a B minor without the bar chord. You can do the bar chord, but I'm just going to teach you how to play it as if you only know how to do open chords here. So you can have your first finger on the 3rd fret of the B, middle finger on the 4th fret of the D, ring finger tucked right under on the 4th fret of the G, and you're going to do the same picking pattern, so you strum 3 and then 2. Next we go to a G, so you just need your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E, ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B, and now we're going to pick the E, G, and the B simultaneously and then just the G and the B. And then we go back to our D chord. So the chord progression is D, B minor, G, back to D. D, B minor, G, and then back to D. Okay, so I'm going to teach you the same thing, just with the bar chords now. So for the bar chords, we're going to be at a D, which is barring the 5th fret, relative to the capo, of course, with your index finger, 5th fifth fifth string down. Ring finger is going to be barring the 7th fret from the 4th string down. And now we're going to pick the A, the G, and the B instead of the D string. Then we slide to a B minor. So you're going to bar the 2nd fret of the 5th um, string down. Middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of the B. Ring finger on the 4th fret of the D. Pinky tucked right under on the 4th fret of the G. Still picking the A, G, and the B strings. And then we're going to go to our G chord. So you're going to bar all 6 strings on the 3rd fret. Middle finger is going to be on the 4th fret of the G. 5th fret of the A string for your ring finger, pinky tucked right under on the 5th fret of the D, Oops. picking the E, G, B, and then we go back to our D. Okay, so this is what it sounds like with bar chords, B minor to your G, back to your D. B minor, to your G, to your D. And that's it. It's a pretty simple song. The chord progression remains the same, which is super nice. That's going to be all I have for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.